In this video, we'll look at how students can install the Kami extension from the Chrome Web Store to help them complete assignments through Schoology using Adobe PDF files. We'll first begin by installing the Kami extension from the Chrome Web Store. To do so, you'll bring your mouse down to the bottom of your screen and your taskbar will appear. We'll click on the Launcher button in the lower left-hand corner. We're looking for the Web Store option, and if you see it listed, you can click on it here or begin typing in the Web Store in the search field. When the Web Store appears, click on it to open. Notice our page opens to a section titled For Klein ISD Students. From here, we can begin searching for Kami. Type in K-A-M-I in the search field. The Kami extension will appear on our list, and we will click the Add to Chrome option. Then on your pop-up window, click Add Extension. Once the extension has been added to Chrome, you'll see it listed with a white K in a circled blue background. You can then click the X to close out the window. We're now ready to head to Schoology to work on our assignment. So I'll click on Schoology, then navigate to my teacher's course. Here's my assignment titled High Flyer Kami Assignment. It is important that students have the Kami extension installed before accessing the file. You'll see with the Kami extension, you now have an option to open with Kami. If you do not see this option, please return back to the Chrome Web Store to install the Kami extension. Students will now click Open with Kami. The very first time you do this, you will be prompted to connect your Kami account with your Klein ISD Google account. Once you are in Kami, notice it shows that this file will automatically be saved to your Google Drive along with the name of that assignment. There are different options on the left-hand side, such as an arrow to select. We also have a markup option, comments, text, drawing, along with shapes and the eraser tool. At this time, students are unable to access any icons with a lock beside it. Once we are here, students can now begin annotating or typing. So I'll choose the text bar, then begin to type my message. Students can also use the drawing option to draw within the document or include shapes. Notice any changes we made are automatically saved within our document. When students are finished, they'll click the Turn In option on the top right corner. Then once again, click Turn In. Notice it shows that this file is being added to my drive. Our document is now exporting from Kami back to Schoology. You'll notice that we have the option to upload our document titled High Flyer, then click Submit. It's crucial that students click the Submit button and view their submission, otherwise the teacher does not have access to the file. To verify the assignment went through properly, students can click on the title once again and view the edits they made on the document. 